Exterior wall finishes can have a significant impact on the energy performance of a home. This module will present variable types of exterior wall finishes or siding materials. We'll talk about wood siding, asbestos shingles, fiber cement, composite siding, stucco, vinyl, aluminum, brick veneer, and laminate siding. Wood siding is one of the more traditional materials for siding. It's less popular now because it's fairly expensive and it does require a significant amount of maintenance if it's going to be maintained over time. It's applied vertically or horizontally and as panels or shingles and it can have a variety of different profiles. Uh, some types of other siding have wood grain patterns intended to emulate wood so sometimes you have to look closely to see if a siding material is actually made of wood or something else. Asbestos cement shingles were really only introduced uh, prior to 1978. Asbestos siding typically came in shingle form and was only used prior to 1978 uh, when asbestos was banned as a building material. Uh, these type of materials are generally not a risk anymore unless they're being cut or drilled or demolished and very few structures remain with this type of siding so it's not likely that you'll encounter it but uh, there are still some of these types of sidings out there. Fiber cement siding is gaining in popularity for its durability and versatility it's often made with recycled content materials and uh, as a uh, building material it can be nailed or screwed onto structural members. Uh, one of its advantages is that it's considered to be fairly easy to maintain. Uh, it usually comes pre-primed and is fairly easy to paint and because it doesn't have breathing properties like wood it often needs to be painted much less often uh, than uh, a wood siding alternative. Asphalt siding is similar to asphalt roofing except that it's made to withstand much less harsh conditions on a wall as opposed to a roof. It's generally nailed over wood lath. It's not longer used as a siding material and if it's encountered it could very likely be damaged or deteriorating and it's very likely in need of replacement. Stucco is generally applied by hand or sprayed over top of brick, stone, or concrete block. It's durable and has very high mass uh, which can help reduce cooling needs in hotter climates. Here it is being applied by a trowel uh, and built up in layers. Uh, here it is being sprayed on to a straw bale wall uh, to speed up the process of application. Vinyl siding is currently the most popular type of siding used in the United States. It's lightweight which reduces shipping cost and it requires very little maintenance. It can get brittle over time and deform under high heat and needs to be installed properly if it's going to be uh, looking nice and retaining its uh, integrity over time. It's also susceptible to high heat and you should be careful not to park your grill too close to the house because it'll melt the siding away. One of the less desirable properties of vinyl is that it is considered to be uh, while attractive and color fast, a non-natural material and some people find it undesirable because it's uh, considered to be plastic. Aluminum siding became very popular to uh, alternative to wood siding before vinyl came along. It requires very little maintenance and it's still used in some conditions. Uh, it can fade over time and is fairly hard to repair if it's damaged. Um, but it is often used as a replacement siding material. Uh, newer forms of aluminum siding have insulation uh, built in to the system and it can be a way to add a layer of insulation as well as a new durable siding uh, applied right over top of uh, existing older wood siding for example. A single layer of brick applied over wood frame is called brick veneer. It's very durable and provides good thermal mass. Sometimes only part of a structure is covered with this veneer to reduce cost, uh, but add some additional interesting look to a home. For example, in this case where it's applied only on sections of the house or first story. It's typically built uh, by resting on a solid base or a ledge on the foundation, uh, and it's connected to the house with ties that connect it back to a structural sheathing uh, member of a house. Um, and more recently, uh, the application of brick veneer 
is just adhere to walled surfaces, uh, which can be built at a much lower cost than a traditional form of stacked brick veneer, but still provide that nice look and feel of, uh, of brick. Laminate siding refers to a hardboard which is typically made by heat and pressure treated layers of wood pulp. Traditional masonite was made entirely of wood pulp without additional binders or glues, but most forms of this do have binders and glues and uh, different types of uh, wood pulp or fiber. Unfortunately, this material was found to deteriorate uh, over time, is easily damaged in uh, severe weather, and because of that, uh, can start to come apart and when the surface is interrupted or broken uh, can very quickly begin to absorb moisture and rot. So in retrospect this was a fairly poor choice for siding and not commonly used anymore uh, because of the lack of durability.